Hello, my name is Larry Stimson. This is part three of my video series on streaming video players. In part one of this series, I showed you how to embed code in your web page and how to make some simple modifications. In part two of this series, I showed you how to modify the Vimeo player preferences. In this video, we'll revisit the Vimeo embed code and I'll show you how to use Vimeo player parameters. What is a parameter? I like to think of it as an option like additional features you may be offered when you buy a new car. These options could include tinted windows, a CD changer, or heated seats. But you can't get everything. Like with new cars, Vimeo has a limited number of parameters you can choose from. Here's how to find out what parameters Vimeo offers. Visit Vimeo.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and under the Vimeo column, select Developers. Click on Vimeo Player. Click on Full Documentation on Embedding. And in the left column under Universal Player, click on Parameters. Now you will see a list of parameters offered by Vimeo. Notice that Auto Pause defaults to 1, while Auto Play defaults to 0. The number 1 means On, and the number 0 means Off. Not all parameters are set by zeros or ones. Color requires a valid color code, and player ID requires a unique set of characters. Some of these parameters require changes in your player preferences. I'll click on Settings for my video, and click on Embed to bring up my player preferences. On Portrait, Title, and Byline, I'll click on the radio button for Let User Decide. I'll uncheck Always Use a Specific Color, but I'll make sure that the Show Full Screen button is checked. Then I'll save these changes. As you may remember in my Player Preferences, I set Portrait to Let User Decide. I'll open my web page, click on Reload, and there's my portrait. So the default value for portrait is on. Now I'll set the portrait parameter to off. In the embed code there is a unique number that identifies my video. This is referred to as the video ID. Don't confuse this with the player ID and I'll talk about that later. In order to insert a parameter into the code, I must first insert a question mark immediately after the video ID. Like this. The question mark tells the player that what follows is a parameter, and you need do this only once. Next, I'll insert the word portrait in all lowercase letters. My portrait is on by default. In order to remove it, I need to set its value to zero. I'll type portrait equals zero. I'll save the file, open my web page, and click reload. Now, my portrait has been removed. Next, I'll remove the video title. I'll return to my code. This time, I want to add the title parameter. I must first tell the player that I'm adding another parameter, and I do this by inserting an ampersand right after the zero setting for portrait. I'll type title in lowercase equals zero, and save the file. I'll reload my web page and the title has been removed. Now let's remove my byline. I'll return to my code, insert another ampersand after the setting for title, and enter byline equals zero. I'll save the file, reload my web page, and my byline has been removed. I want to change the player colors to green. The color code for green is 00, zero FF00. Zero zero. However, if I keep my colors simple, I can use the three character code for green, and that is 0F0. Zero zero. To use the color parameter, I'll enter an ampersand, enter the word color in lowercase, and set the value to 0F0. Zero zero. I'll save the file, reload my web page, and the colors are now green. 
Although I allowed full screen in my player preferences, I can still hide the full screen button by deleting the full screen attributes in the embedded code. Now I'll save the file, reload my web page, and the full screen button is gone. By default, the autoplay parameter is set to false. This requires the user to click on the start button in order to play the video. I'm now going to cause my video to start automatically. I'll insert the autoplay parameter and set its value to 1. I'll save the file, reload my web page, and the video starts to play automatically. The loop parameter allows the video to replay automatically. It's set to false by default. Now I'll cause my video to auto replay. I'll insert the loop parameter and set its value to 1. I'll save the file, reload my web page, and scroll ahead to the credits. I'll let the credits run. And now, my video begins to play all over again. If you have two or more players on a web page, starting one video will cause the other to stop. This is by default. However, if you want both players to play simultaneously, you can use the auto pause parameter. In this example, I've embedded code for two different video players. Since neither has any parameters set, I'll insert a question mark right after the video ID. Next, I'll add the auto pause parameter and turn it off by setting it to zero. I'll do this for both video players. I'll save the file and reload my web page. I'll start the first video and then the second video. Now both videos are playing at the same time. In my next video, I'll show you how to make your own HTML video player. Please join me then.